So here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Big ball once land. Now we get back to range. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he landed the right hand there. He blocks the punch. That right hand landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Now looked like the overhand counter landed. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, back to the overhand right. There you go. There you go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Choice has got full mount now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. And they both stand up. Misses with that punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Straight right hand, no good. That's a big strike right there. Tags him with the left. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He's really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. 
It's a beautiful fast foot huh. jab with meaning. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. For you. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yells, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lunges forward with a left air. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storrs. Ooh, what a punch. Three minutes to go. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Nice body kick right on the other. That punch will work right through the guard. Good right hand right there. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Choi's got the full mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Muay Thai plump. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. 
worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it exactly where he needed to go. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, effective strike there by Choi. Throws the right hand there. Straight right hand now, just misses. There's no tell on that leg kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they separate. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially... Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his most. We'll finish his fight. His misses are entertaining. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Just over three minutes to go now. Good punch land. Superman punch lands! Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch in DC. This has certainly been a big trademark of your success, just finding a home for those punches in these clinch situations. This is where I live. I love fighting in the clinch and landing those strikes. There are so many small spaces where you can land really, really good punches. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Both fighters get up now. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Swing and a miss by Short. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. What a right hand by this young man. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot do it. The takedown is there. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase choke. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Close guard. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining right. rounds. We'll see right. how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens very Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Superman punch now. Right punches there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head, he's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking. Fantastic timing on that move to take Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Get up, get up, get up. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading them to be ahead of the fight right now? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He does everything so well. Oh. hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just misses with that big right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? An uppercut in. Oh, he needs to start looking to 
finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Joy's shot is blocked. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Nice head kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And he's out. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Stop, stop, stop. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, pinpoint jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's going to be easier for him to counter than his opponent. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Straight right, he misses. Oh, big punch lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Liver kick. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him. Try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, get up, get up, get up, get up. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty significant. To the left side. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big kick lands. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Punch over the top. Wow. Change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his beautiful ride. Right. Takes oh, his right ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the right end of that? Not, I mean, I'm sorry. I knew that was coming. Never... <laughs> All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, well, time is the end. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Unable to connect with the right. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Went inside on that leg kick through the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. A couple of hammer fists now. Nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game, that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly